Good morning and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where we're back at Thorpe Park and it's Charlotte's first visit of the season. I know, I can't believe I've not been yet. I know, yeah, it's May. You've still not been to I Thorpe know. Park yet. Yeah, so yeah, get around the park. Of course, we'll bring you some more updates. It is a Sunday today, so it'll be interesting to see how busy it is. But to be honest, coming in this morning, not, not too, too bad. bad really. You know, my number one tip for you coming to Thorpe Park is literally get here early because even though they don't advertise to be open until 10, they let you in to the island like no other uh, a lot earlier. It's like 20 past 9 and already turnstiles are open, we're through security and yeah we can be straight through into the park. Which is good. Yeah definitely, so come and join us. Along with that we'll have a look at High Striker because uh, obviously last time I filmed the vlog here that was still kind of under construction, they were finishing it off and that's open now as well. So we'll have a look at that. Of course the relocation of Lumber Jump and yeah get lots of off-ride footage and uh, capture the atmosphere here at Thorpe Park. Now, of course, Thorpe Park are going to be running lots of different events this year, including two brand new events, Carnival and Mardi Gras. And what they've actually done is brought up some of the old X cars and put them up here to advertise the event. So how nice is this? Lovely. And Charlotte's favourite colour? The yellow one. Which is for Carnival. Yeah, this is going to be coming to the resort over summer. I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, of course, you've got the one here for Mardi Gras. First time Mardi Gras at Thorpe Park this year. So looking forward to that. That's actually coming up later this month. 19th of May, that starts, yeah. Uh, and then, of course, Oktoberfest later this year. And then Fright Nights. But yeah, these are really nice, these. Something a little bit different and a great photo opportunity here in the Dome. Oh, it's always nice walking through the Dome and seeing the awesome skyline here at Thorpe Park. And that's something that's going to get even better in the next couple of years as Exodus gets built. Oh, it is set to be the tallest roller coaster in the UK. And of course, we're going to be filming lots of updates here on the channel as soon as planning permission is granted. And yeah, of course, we see a lot of construction taking place, mostly throughout next year. But uh, I'm sure later this year, we're still going to see a lot more work taking place around the former Old Town area. Now, like I say, my advice for you, get here early. However, they don't actually let you down into the rest of the park until 10 o'clock. But you've got kind of four main areas. You've got the two here on the beach, the one over at the Swarm, and then also this normally really quiet one off to the left here. So I recommend wait at this one, and then you can be straight down the path towards what the two busiest and lowest throughput coasters, in my opinion, Colossus and Saw. Yes. Get to them first. So that's my best way of kind of uh, giving you some tips to go and get on the big five if you come into Thorpe Park. But yeah, come to this gate here for when it opens, then you can take a right, and of course you can be straight down to the Colossus or Saw and start your day down there. Here we go then, it's just gone 10 o'clock, the gates are open, and we're inside the rest of the park. So yeah, you can come down the little cutting path just down to the left of Colossus. So yeah, you don't actually walk under Colossus, and that brings you straight down here to saw the ride. So yeah, down here nice and early. What's that, about five minutes worth of queue? Here we go, let's go and ride on saw. It was Charlotte's first ride of the season on there. How was it for you? Certain sections. I can feel it in my head. I had a bit of Gersten. Oh, the classic Gersten. Here we go, back for 2022. To be honest though, front row isn't too bad on there. No, it's not too bad. You no, know, front row is all right. You go on the back, <laughs> be a bit rough. Yeah, pretty rough. Yeah, you try, try and sit on the inner seats on the front. But I'll tell you what I do really like about that, the indoor section. People are so shocked by it because they don't expect it. Yeah, you always get a lot of screams, don't you? Yeah. You go down that drop inside, I like that into bit. the inversion, you've got the air cannons in there. It's very nice attraction, yeah. that. Yeah. Right, here we go, we're off on Colossus now. It's actually advertised zero minutes. And from looking at the queue just, it's, it's literally really walking quiet. straight into the station. So yeah, gonna be quiet this morning. It's a Sunday today, but it is the bank holiday weekend. So maybe that's put people off. But so far I'm finding this year, the parks aren't actually that heaving, no, to be honest. Like, queues aren't too bad at all. I think a lot of factors are coming into it. Yeah. And the fact that we've got a cost of living crisis going on at the moment, and the price of fuel, and I think it all really of that, it, it does. And that's really affecting how busy the parks are this year. But we'll go on Colossus. I love this coaster, great ride. <laughs> I do love these very atmospheric blue flickering lights that they've added here in Colossus Station for this year. Very bright, nice they are. Right, let's go on. 
literally, these people here, and then we're on. Less than five minute wait for Colossus this morning. Fantastic. Off Colossus, how was your ride, Charlotte? I don't normally enjoy Colossus, but that was actually quite a good ride. I enjoyed it. I felt a bit dizzy and sick when I got to the end. Ten inversions on there, and you got the thing. We're getting closer to the opening of that basically at Flamingo Land. It'll be exciting for the lap bars. Yeah, that? different profiling, different drop. It'll be really good. And the lap bars, which is going to be good. Imagine them final four, five inversions, really. Yeah, the four in a row, and then the final one. Crazy. You're going to be flying. It's going to be great. But yeah, 20 years ago, Colossus opened here at Thorpe Park. You got some nice merchandise, such as the t-shirt here, you got the key ring and the magnet, which is great. I do love the branding just here. Yeah, the t-shirt's £20, the hood is £40. Yeah, look at all the pricing, £5, £5 pound for all the key rings, magnets and pins. But you've also got some old concepts just here. Like, you look at that there for all the buildings. and Yeah, look at that, nice to see. Plans for the ride at the top as well. Amazing. Yeah. Project Odyssey, as it was known at the time. And yeah, up here, just get these down and show you some old construction pictures. There you go. Look at that. Obviously, before the final inversions were put in just there. Another one just here showing all the pathways going in. Back for Project Odyssey. Oh, 2002 and 2003. Two epic years for Thorpe Park with Colossus and, of course, Nemesis Inferno back to back. Here we go, then. This is a rare sight to see. Five minute wait for Rush. There we go, the s, &S swings just here. I absolutely love these. Now, I was here a couple of weeks ago. Didn't do any filming on that day, but it was only running the one arm. So yeah, it's nice to see it back on two arms. So yeah, we're gonna have a nice ride on Rush. Five minute advertised wait for this one. Donut Factory, I saw Charlotte looking then. I saw ya. <laughs> Peeking over to the Donut Factory. Oh, here we go, let's go and have a ride on this absolute awesome flat. I really like Rush. Charlotte's having a nice little dance, and that isn't because she had a good ride on Rush, is it? There's another it's reason. A <laughs> oh, no, I think it's going to be closed all day. Yeah. I was planning to go on it today. I even brought clothes again. for it. You went on it last year and you loved it. <laughs> How was your ride on Rush? It's okay, but it's struggling a bit now. It is struggling and it's all the rage. It is, yeah, you definitely want to be on the far swing. So when I say that, the one on the left, not the one on the right from this side. Swing that hard. No, no, whereas the other one does still swing a little bit better. Unfortunately, a little bit of Thorpe Park history has gone since my last visit, and that is the fact you can no longer walk underneath there. They've put in a little fence across there now. It's sad that is, obviously, because of health and safety, it's got one better of it. Normally, you could just walk under there and there was a little mind your head sign, but yeah, it's gone. It's a shame that. But yeah, it's really not that busy at all today. So we're gonna head round towards the Walking Dead, the ride. Even on a busy day, this is a good strategy to go for. Uh, do the rides off to the left, jump on Rush um, if, if it's not too busy, then head round to the Walking Dead. And then I'd recommend picking up your timed ticket for Darren Brown's Ghost Train, Rise of the Demon, that we'll do shortly. The 
Cheers for Coma Family Carry, so that is. There you go. The Walking Dead, the ride, walk on queue, not even a full train. Crazy, but so you enjoy that. Well, I love the coaster, but I just really don't like the Walking Dead theme at all. I'm not a fan either. However, it is enhanced when it's got the actors in, like it today. Does, yeah. yeah, so there was two actors at the end. Now, if you do want to ride that, and of course, um, you're a bit worried about the actors, don't worry. They do always tell you at the start that there's going to be actors at the I've end. I've never done it with actors in before. No, it's quite a rare occasion. On such a quiet day today, it's quite funny, isn't it, really? Um, I think they were expecting it to be busier. But yeah, you've got two actors at the end there. Um, nothing too intense, no, but they do kind of no. come up with some torches and your face and that kind of thing. But it does add to the experience. It does, yeah. Instead of just coming off the ride and walking down a very long exit corridor, really long. there's something going on, which is good. Yeah, we've just come around the corner. We've got our ticket for Darren, haven't we? We have, yeah. Yeah, booked in for one o'clock. It's nice and easy. What do you do, Charlotte? So you have to scan the QR code and fill your details in and just book a time slot. Yeah, you don't have to do it per person either. You can just, one of you can do it and then select how many there yeah. is in your party. And the good thing is, it keeps the queues down on Darren. Which is good. I've had some great rides on here this year. I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, well, I, I think you'll enjoy them all this year so. because you've not done it yet with the uh, the new kind of pre show they've got. I don't like got. the VR though. No, I mean, it's too scary for you, yeah, that's it's why. Too scary. It is unreliable as well. However, it's been better this year, the rides I've had on it. And the way I see it is, if you've waited maximum 20 minutes, it doesn't matter. Not too bad, though. When we were waiting two, or sometimes even, I remember yeah, waiting three hours, it was disappointing. Whereas now, 20 minutes is a time Not slot. Too bad. You don't mind if you have a few issues and you've only waited 20 minutes, do you? But uh, anyway, I think we'll go on the BM next, shall we? It. Nemesis Inferno. Here we go, give it up for the interlocking courts crews just there. Oh, I absolutely love that element. Probably my favourite element actually on Nemesis Inferno. Something that you don't get on the original Nemesis at Alton Towers. And of course, next year, when we're expecting Nemesis at Alton to be closed for its retrack, this will have to make do, but no, it's still a good coaster. It's actually pretty busy. This is our biggest queue of the day, 20 minutes. Still, that's not too bad, but for a Sunday. But yeah, we were just chatting with someone actually, and they were saying that today, certain annual passes are blocked out. So that maybe explains why it's a little bit quieter. We had 20 minutes for Inferno. I can take that. Let's go and have a ride. It is still a great BM coaster, this. I do really enjoy it. And it's one that's aged nicely as well. You like this, don't you, Charlotte? I love it. Oh, Nemi Inferno. Oh, as a bassy speaker, that is. <laughs> Let's go on. Now, a few years ago, one of my favourite food outlets opened just down the road, and it's perfect now because you come off the M25, you're on the way to Thorpe Park, and you can stop and get your lunch from Greg's just there. Here we go. So, what's better than a nice, juicy Greg sausage roll? Here we go then, gotta say operations, pretty decent so far here at Thorpe Park, getting the train sent out on Nemesis Inferno. We yeah, love this view from up in the queue line, detonated just there, and here she comes, the B&M Beauty. Around the side of the volcano just here, oh here we go, oh, oh, oh looking forward to it Charlotte. I love this. Unfortunately we got no mist coming out. And that means we're not going to have a misty tunnel, unfortunately. But here we go, we're going to have our ride on Nemesis Inferno. We're we'll putting some off ride shots for you. It's always great to feel the heat of Nemesis Inferno. Oh, I really like Nemesis Inferno. You enjoyed that there, didn't you? I really liked it. I'm quite surprised because it is quite intense now. I really, I prefer to Nemesis. Oh, it's controversial. It's controversial. Every time, oh, every do time. You to Nemesis? It certainly gets better every time I go on it. I do enjoy it, and that's all we're going to have next year. No. Yeah, shame the mist isn't on down here in the tunnel. You normally see it coming out just there no. from the volcano. Great ride. Ride operator up there. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's having a bit of a sing song. Yeah. 
<laughs> it, it was loving life, he was. But the operations are pretty solid on there. I think it might have gone down now, actually. They just started sending empty trains. Be able to go for a nice water ride now. As much as Tidal Wave isn't open today, I don't think it's going to be. We'll go on Rumba Rapids. 10 minute wait here for the Rumba. So yeah, let's go and have a ride. choppy waters there but no major splashes did we that time very good, no mega wave it can be a bit of a lazy river can't it, it can sometimes be, yeah. you got to think though this section behind us it looks really choppy but it doesn't really get you wet no, does it, it? Sort of moves you about. yeah sometimes the boat could be just here for yeah, ages it before it gets the current to move further down the trough oh um, no the good thing is with that it's got audio all the way around the trough uh, which makes it better than congo now in my opinion the fact that congo is very quiet in places and has been toned down Yes, this has been toned down as well. However, at least it's got the audio. I prefer Congo. Yeah, I mean, the location of Congo is nice and the interaction with Runaway Mine Trade. But also with this, you've also got the tunnel with waterfalls in as well. Exactly. And some theme lighting instead of just a white strip light. But yeah, a bit of a lazy river that time that was. But uh, it was still good to get on there. We're getting loads of rides done. We are, yeah. It's 20 past 12 and look how much we've done already. We've done loads. Absolutely awesome. It's definitely worth getting here nice and early. And up next, we're going to see if we've got time to do stealth over in the Amateur. Speedway before our time slots over at Derham Brown. 30 minutes then for a ride on the fastest roller coaster in the UK. So, yeah, not too bad at all. Let's go and ride on stealth. I'll tell you what, though, this tyre is looking very tired at the moment, isn't it? Oh, that was bad, one of that. Tired. Oh, God. Yeah, look at this. It needs a bit of work, that does. Considering, you know, it's a very iconic ride here at the park. Here we go. Here it comes. Tell you love the sound of that interim brake pins just here. Ready for it? Three, two, one, go, go, go! Oh, what a beauty. Oh, you gotta love the atmosphere of Stout's Q line, all the music blasting out, watching the coaster here on the speedway. And you have only waited 10 minutes, it was advertised 30. About another few minutes and we'll be on. Let's go. Well, we waited 15 minutes in total because we went on the front row pole position on stealth and we also got a very special blind launch. Yeah, it's quite unique, that is. Yeah, literally no lights on and no countdown. And we just went. Obviously, the brake fin still dropped down here on the launch, so. Yeah, you know when you're going to go, but for everybody else on the train, they're like, oh my God, Charlotte's got a hood up because it's raining. Can't believe it, but a uh, great ride there on stealth. <laughs> Here she comes. What a beauty. Wow. Well, yeah, it's been a while since I filmed the vlog in the rain. We've done really well for weather at the parks. But yeah, it's not throwing it down. It's not too bad. Beautiful. But yeah, up next, Darren Brown's ghost train. <laughs> Well, that's one on our way round to Darren. Can't believe Tidal Wave shut today. I was going to go on it. But look at this. They've actually completely drained the reservoir just here, which is quite interesting. Yes. See, when it's having technical issues, they don't normally drain this. You know what, Thorpe Park, keep it drained. Keep it drained. I don't think so. We need to get this back in operation so Charlotte here can go I'm on again. I'm going on that again. Knock me sick. <laughs> she loved it. It is a great ride here at Thorpe Park. Comment down below, what is your favourite ride in this park, by the way? I'd love to know. And yeah, what happened to this fire effect that we were supposed to be getting here? Like, it's never really happened, does it? So hopefully, we might get something happening down here. I really hope so. Do it. I, I doubt that's why it's closed to sort that out, though. It's like, it's major technical issues, yeah. I think. Yeah, I but like the, the fact that. Yeah, I mean, there's supposed to be some big explosion happening here, but uh, yeah, they've not that got that going yet. Anyway, let's head over to Darren Brown 
Rise of the Demon, and here we go. Are you excited? Yeah, Are you I'm scared? Scared. scared? It's much better this year though with the storyline. Yeah, oh, that's why you don't like it. <laughs> but yeah, like I say, you've got to put your time slot for that. We're in at one o'clock, and yeah, we'll see you when we come off. This is the ghost train reimagined. This is my ghost train. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm glad we had a time ticket there and didn't wait like two hours for it. Luckily, we walked straight in. I've been singing the praises down Brown this year. I've had a few rides on it, it's been really good. Charlotte rocks up and that really wasn't great. Absolutely terrible. So yeah, unfortunately, we had a major issue with the ride system, it seems, in the wasn't second part. Properly. Yeah, the second part of the VR, we put the headsets on. Um, your headset wasn't working anyway. No, I didn't have any audio. But yeah, that was like the, the least of the worries because what actually happened was the headset was on for 30 seconds or so and then, and then literally off. we were straight off the the video instead of playing the full like three or four it minute video didn't do it i think the actual ride system you know how it tilts it and rocks wasn't, doing it at wasn't all. working no. which was a shame and then we came into the shop and then instead of getting the monster we got somebody in the black hoodie oh hoodie. i couldn't believe it man in a hoodie it's always disappointing when you get the man in the hoodie and not the demon so unfortunately i'm disappointed with darren it's just there. a waste of time I'm back to disappointment with darren like you know at least we didn't have to queue up for no, it no we didn't you know and the acting in there was really good the actors do a really good job at trying to bring you into the story especially before you actually see uh, the train that's hanging there of course suspended with chains it's impressive seeing that but the ride it is. is rubbish yeah I, I do feel like it's still in the long term utilizing that show building I for a track so. dark ride would be brilliant it's a huge building it is or even like an indoor ghost like bob said or something so be great in the future but you know what hopefully Darren will be back on form soon i can't believe it it was so good when oh. I, I wanted you to see it you know oh, how it was a couple of weeks ago it goes to show that how unreliable it is it was opening day of the season like i said i was here a couple of weeks ago off camera and issues. yeah it has a lot of issues doesn't yeah. it and you can tell that unfortunately they've sorted it over winter and then a few weeks into the season Very well a month sad. later and it's already having problems such a shame that but at least now it's rare that you queue for it with them running the time ticket what a shame here we go then here's a ride that never disappoints time for the parks bnm wing coaster it's the swarm 10 years old open back in 2012 always remember opening day great atmosphere and yeah i always love getting back on here so we're gonna have a ride on the swarm in the rain unfortunately i do love all the theming around here the crash plane the mist coming out of the engine there the general destruction of it all it's a great theme for an awesome ride it's got the lights on the train it really is a full package attraction and that's something that i hope we get with project exodus as much as we don't really know much yet about the theme or any theming around because nothing's been mentioned in the plan application really about that uh, i'm sure there'll be something you know um, see i look forward to seeing it i'd like it to be more of a happy theme though because you've got quite a few kind of destructive themes that have been put in over the past few years at merlin parks and just in general let's have a nice happy theme for exodus i think that'd be good five minute wait for the uk's only wing roller coaster for now let's go to get back on the swarm and we had a front row ride there and it took five minutes to wait for the front but we couldn't see anything i didn't see anything <laughs> 
this. Yeah, literally. Rain. The rain was coming down there. So, you know, just take away for a bit, don't it, when you go on the coast in the rain. But still, it's a good ride and keys are minimal, so I can't is, complain. Yeah. But yeah, I thought there's no much point really doing a re-ride because you can't see anything. No, because I was like this. It might not look like it's raining much, but it's that fine sort of rain. Yeah. And when you're going fast on a coaster, it really goes it's in your painful. eyes. It is painful. I remember years ago riding stealth in the hail. Oh, and we were no. the last dispatch just before uh, they obviously closed That's it due to good. safety. Well, yeah, we may as well go on the flying fish show whilst Let's we're here. Fly, yeah, please. nice powered coaster, family powered. And then we'll go and check out the uh, new addition because, like we said earlier on, Lumber Jump has moved. And yeah, it's now down here in Amity. Yeah, so we'll send Charlotte on there, I yes. think. You like them little drop towers, I don't do, you? Yeah. Little frog offer. You're ready. The fish is ready. And here we go. It's always great flying with the fish here at Thorpe Park. Yeah, four laps on the flying fish. Four laps special? Yeah, which was really good. And what have we got here, Charlotte? New for 2022. This is a lovely playground. Yeah, now the play area, unfortunately, has had no progression since I was here just over a month ago filming a vlog. However, you got this ridiculously steep slide just there. Like, I think there's going to be some accidents on that. I'm not going to lie. Like, look at this little uh, air time hill. Like, what are you thinking to that, being a slide expert? I don't think I'd ride it, to be honest. You've got to ride it at some point. I can't. I'm scared about my knees. <laughs> well, yeah, like, here's the steps. You're going to walk up these steps just here to get to it. Are they going to be putting some kind of flooring down here or not? But it's probably got to be the longest construction for a play area in the world this like literally it's obviously been going on over winter and then yeah we're still here and it's not open yet so god knows or maybe they've realized that that slide is ridiculously steep like honestly like it's a kids play area that looks more like a thrill ride to me here we go maybe we'll see a bit more of the steepness from it from here see the bottom of it. yeah like look at that that is ridiculously steep for a slide so comment down below will you be riding that i feel like we're gonna have to send charlotte down it when it does open oh, no. for a slide review how about that and talking of reviewing things, the brand new toilets have opened since last time I was here in the dome. So we're going to go and check out the new loos. Yeah, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to start vlogging in the toilets. However, how nice are they? How they've been so done? Fancy, but my light didn't work. <laughs> yeah, so you have lights now above the cubicles, really, which is quite a nice little effect. But yeah, already some of them are broke. But you know what? There's some nice vinyls in there. Really fancy. LED strip lighting. Like, yeah, cool. they're really cool. I'd say probably the best Merlin toilet. It's got to check them out when you come to Thorpe Park. If you need a wee or a number two, come out to the dome and use the toilets downstairs because they're definitely worth it. Anyway, let's go and check out the new ride, shall we? Reef theme of course of lumber jump that used to be an old town it's now located in amity and yeah it's known as high striker so let's go and send charlotte on shall we give you a little bounce here we go then well amity cove welcomes careful drivers so me and charlotte are all right then <laughs> yeah of course you got storm surge down here and then just off to the right here it is i think it fits in quite nice here it's got its own soundtrack new queue line gone in and yeah it's high striker very nice, vibrant, colourful ride instead of a dark theme. You know, nice and bright and colourful. Here's a look at the restrictions board for you. As you can see, minimum 0.9. Charlotte's going on. Yeah, and we'll get some footage. 1.1, of course, you've got to be accompanied. Yeah, look at the keyboards here. How nice is that? Lovely. Yeah, we've got a good soundtrack playing. And yeah, Charlotte is in that very small queue line. Are you ready? <laughs> I do think it would have been nice if we could have had Timber Tugboat here as well. And even Rocky Express. Like the three of them down here, you know, like it used to be when it was the old kids' rides down here. Here we go, yeah, soundtrack's great. Great vibes, yeah, let's send Charlotte on High Striker. Oh, here we go, Charlotte's got a new little friend on there as well. So welcome to High Striker. Now this is a nice little family drop tower. It doesn't look very forceful though from what we're seeing. But I'll tell you what. Oh! <laughs> Charlotte's loving it. What's the view of the park like from up there? I bet it's quite nice actually. 
Just what you all tuned in for, viewers. Thought Park vlog to see Charlotte here on High Striker. Even the operator's loving it. Here we go. Hey! <laughs> the ops loving it. But yeah, of course, this is themed around them kind of um, games, you know, that you get where you literally bash something and then the lights go up the side. There you go. <laughs> She's living the dream. Yeah, it looks like they've got some evac steps at the bank. I was at Chessington last week when I filmed that update on Project Amazon. I noticed that they've put them um, on the uh, ride in the rainforest as well. So yeah, that's quite interesting. Are you living the dream there, Charlotte? Lovely. But yeah, the good thing is that this is well themed. It's got a nice soundtrack. And I bet you get some good views of the park from up there. It's High Striker, new for 2022. How was your ride then on the big new edition? There was no force, unfortunately. Oh. But we did get a nice long cycle. That's all right then. Exactly. It's got some good theming. It has, yeah. And a nice soundtrack. At least they haven't got rid of it. But well, you want some force. I know what you want to be coming on. Detonator just over here. 10 minute wait for this Fabri drop tower. I'm going on. Are you not coming to join me for a ride, Charlotte? No, it's disgusting. You wanted more force. No, but not that much more. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I think you should come on it, to be Enjoy. honest. I will do. I can't pass up that 10 minute wait. Yeah, it's got some flats. We've done all the major rides, really, now. Got some flat rides. Let's go on Detonator here in Angry Birds Land. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> well, just got a blind drop there on Detonator. Brilliant, literally holding you at the top for ages. And no announcement when you're going to drop. Lots of us on there. Charlotte here, the worst offender. <laughs> right, what have you got here? I've got this lovely pick-a-mix. Four-part pick-a-mix. Oh, now, we had a bit of a scare, didn't we? We thought pick-a-mix was gone. We did, because we went to Legoland and we didn't have any. Then we went in the main shop and didn't have any, but we got some. There we go, pick-a-mix. How much was it, Charlotte? So I think it was £5.30 with discounts, not too bad. Yeah, of course, with your annual pass, you get 20% off. Some gummy dolphins. King pig. King pig. I'm not calling Charlotte a king pig, don't worry. She's my wonderful fiance. King pig dodging just over here. You're a wild hog, let's go. <laughs> Nice ride there over on the King Pig Dodgems. And yeah, time for some flat rides now. Obviously, we did rush earlier on. Gonna go on the Enterprise just here, Zodiac. Unfortunately, it doesn't go up as high as it used to, but at least it's operating. Unlike Enterprise at Alton Towers, yeah, literally that's your maximum that you get on there now. But yeah, who knows what's gonna happen with Enterprise. Looked like it was being dismantled when we were there the other day. So we'll find out. But yeah, let's get have a ride here on Zodiac. flat rides corner down there in the lost city and yeah we had a nice ride there on zodiac the enterprise and then also as well went on quantum didn't we i feel a bit sick yeah you're not really big on the flats no, are you well, at least they got some here at thorpe park exactly. nicely Good. themed into the areas vortex down there though i think that needs a bit of work i mean it's got a big queue because loads of the seats are broke yeah, on it yeah quite a few seats are off so hopefully they can get that uh, resolved before the summer busy period i say that we're in may now i can't believe yeah. how quiet it is for a sunday Crazy, but uh, I fancy a bit of samurai down here. So yeah, gonna have a ride on there now. Whilst we're on our way down here, just thought I'd mention it because it looks a bit of an eyesore now. The former Saw Alive boat just over there. It just looks a mess, doesn't it? It does, yeah, I reckon, especially when Exodus is in a couple of years, that's gonna be on the other side of the water. I imagine all this cleared up and there's a nice kind of seating area looking over at the coaster. This just looks a mess. Or maybe like a new food unit, a bar. Something. Yeah, like I mean, in an ideal world, I've always said this would be a great location. Imagine an Intamin gyro swing here. Oh, good location. Something a bit like Loki at Liseberg. So basically, it could be here, and it could swing out up towards the Cobra Roll there for Colossus, and then swing over the water, and then they could remove Vortex, because they wouldn't really need it anymore. No, you 
and it's an older ride. But there you go, that's what I'd do anyway. But that'd be a nice little addition in the future. But yeah, the building just looks a bit of a mess down at Sora Live. music for this Mondal top scan. 20 minute wave. Yeah, one of the bigger queues of the day. But well worth going on. A little bit of samurai. Gotta make the most of these flats, haven't you, when you can do. I'm not liking the look of these black clouds coming over though. Luckily, we've got everything we wanted to and so much more. We did not think we'd get as much done as we have today. Charlotte. Now, I wasn't expecting it to come on, but in the queue, she was like, I'm coming on Samurai. Honestly, and how was it? That was absolutely rank. Yeah. <laughs> we was on there for so long, it just kept going and going, and I actually felt like I'm going to be sick. That's what you want, a good long cycle. I want Sean. There we go. You don't, not a big fan of the flats, though, are you? The intense oh, flats. Rotten. We're completely different when it comes to flats. I love them. Charlotte doesn't really like them. I didn't like them. I didn't like that. i tell you what does really excite us both, though. What's behind that white fence? Know. Not much at the moment. But now. for now, of course, we're going to be filming regular updates from Project Exodus. Not really much to uh, report on at the moment because, yeah, literally the other side of here, um, you've still got the Rocky Express stand in. And, yeah, the ride still hasn't actually got planning permission yet. However, I'm sure it will do. Fingers crossed. He's enjoying that beer there. That'll be us at Oktoberfest. But, yeah, come and have a look through the fence over here. There's some funny signs. Here we go. So here's a look at the funny signs just there for you. It's very rude to stare. Hey, what are you looking at? to know they just left in some exodus oh i love all that but yeah of course we're really going to be seeing this develop over the next couple of years especially throughout 2023 which is really exciting but yeah, i like how they put them little signs in i think thorpe are going to be teasing us loads with this project Well, we're just going to get our last few rides of the day in now. A couple of re-rides. And yeah, there's always a nice atmosphere around here in Amity Cove. I do really like it. I'll tell you what, though. This addition of the stage is something really different. So I'm loving it. Just some more street entertainment here at Thorpe. Well done. Okay, now everyone back in the middle. That was our practice round. Everyone's got the rules, don't they? It's very Keeping things simple. nice and interactive. Yeah. Okay. Well, really right, bright with the lighting up there as well, which is nice. Three, two, one. Go to your coats. <laughs> Okay. The four park thrill makers. Well, yeah, I tell you what, I'm kind of glad in a way now I tied away his clothes because with this gloomy weather, I don't think I would have fancied it. Oh, I would have gone on today because I had actually brought the clothes for it. Charlotte can back me up here. I did bring spare shoes. Like, I was actually going to go on it today, you know, for my ride on there. But yeah, to be honest, with this weather, it looks like we might get rained off. But we've only got a couple more rides to do. So I'll put in a little bit more off ride footage. And of course, we'll make our way to the park exit and wrap up our May vlog here from Thorpe Park. But we'll be back in a few weeks' time for Mardi Gras and looking forward to that. Well, it's been a lovely day here at Thorpe Park. I tell you what, we've got so much more in than we was expecting today. Yeah, it's been a really good day. I wasn't expecting to get this much in. Sunday, we thought bank holiday weekend. It's going to be busy. Might be busy, but you've got to think it goes one or two ways with bank holidays. Too, yeah. And yeah, today's been one of them where it's gone in our favour, which yeah. has been good. We've done a lot of rides, but I wouldn't normally go on that much, to be honest. Things like King Pig Dodge, yeah, we went wouldn't on. normally do them. Destinator, I love going on, but it gets busy with it being low throughput. Same with Rush. We've got on those, done loads of flats. Uh, yeah, shame about tidal wave because I would have actually gone on there today. I have not missed that. <laughs> well, the good thing is we have avoided like any major rain shower, yeah, which is good. There. You know, it looks like he's going to absolutely tip it down now. But uh, yeah, that brings us to the end of the vlog. It's been a great day, of course. You know my thoughts on this season, but Charlotte's first visit. How's I it think been? We've had a really good visit, to be honest. It's been really good. I think so. A few years back, Thought Park's operations weren't the best. However, these past couple of years, I've not really had a bad visit. Operations have been really yeah, good, they have. and of course, I'm looking forward to uh, 
the event. That'll be the next vlog down here. Actually, in just a few weeks' time, we're coming down and checking out the Mardi Gras event. But throughout the year, we've got carnival over yeah, summer. Yeah, that sounds really interesting. Of course, the return of Oktoberfest and Fright Nights as well. Um, so yeah, there's loads going on throughout the year, and that's the great thing with Merlin now, spending money on the events, that's isn't it? That's what we need, that's what people want. Yeah, definitely, especially for annual pass holders and repeat visitors. When you've got more events, it brings people back to the parks, uh, and that's always a really positive thing, in my opinion. Yeah. So uh, join us very soon for another vlog um, here from Thorpe Park. And if you are coming here, have an absolutely fantastic time. Hopefully sharing a few tips about the vlog has helped you plan your day here to Thorpe. That leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you in Tenerife.